Dougie, lovely to bump into you this morning. Obviously, room attendant for the New South Wales Blues and, of course, for Sydney Sixers. You're here watching some cricket, but just as a bit of a holiday this time. It's on a holiday, yeah. We're on a, uh, a recreation holiday with my wife, and um, we plan to, we've, we've been to Scotland and Wales and plan to do a cruise of the Danube. Great stuff. And obviously you're a man that uh, a lot of England fans will want to speak to right now. You've got the inside info on Trevor Bayliss, a man you work very close with, closely with for a number of years. I have, yeah. I know TB, we call him very well. Um, good man. And um, I'm sure at this very time he's, he'll be quite nervous because before a game he, he sort of sits still and uh, gets a bit nervous. But he's, uh, no, he's a, good, good, a good bloke and uh, he'll uh, do very well for the English team. And of course, a couple of those Sixers lads have broken into this Australia setup now, namely Mitch Stark and Josh Hazelwood. How do you expect those boys to cope over here in probably slightly damper and more overcast conditions than you're used to uh, down under? Yeah, well, I've heard from the pubs here that the, uh, the pitch is going to be very slow and low. So um, I think the fact that um, Josh Hazelwood and Mitch are very tall is going to give them a bit of an advantage because uh, obviously they'll be able to get it up a bit on the, on the low wicket. But... Um, They'll go very well, and they're, they're both uh, very good boys. So I already know the answer, but I'm going to ask uh, probe a little bit more for a series prediction for you. Well, obviously, 18 months ago, uh, down in Sydney, 5 nil whitewash was completed, but what do you expect the result to be this time round? I think the English will be tough. I think it'll be quite, um, quite a lot more even than people think, but I, um, I'm predicting uh, maybe 3-1 Aussies. So lovely to chat to you. Hope you enjoy the game. Thank you very much.